After successfully delaying his suspension since Week 1, Ezekiel Elliott will sit out Week 10. AP Photo Roan Jenkins Top Storylines Injury News Fantasy Football ATS Betting Tips Fix Looking for another great, must-see game this week for the second straight week, you might be out of luck with a ton of matchups that seem lopsided. Still, strange things have been known to happen and standings can quickly change with 18 teams at .500 or better. The Dallas Cowboys will see what they can do without running back Ezekiel Elliott, who will miss the game against the Atlanta Falcons as he begins serving his six-game suspension. There's no question that the loss of Elliott, who has rushed for over 100 yards in three of his last four games, comes at a bad time for the Cowboys, who are 53 and trying to keep up with the 81 Eagles who have a bye and maintain distance from the 44 Redskins. The absence of Elliott creates opportunity for Alfred Morris, Darren McFadden and Rod Smith against a 44 Atlanta Falcons team coming off a dispiriting 2017 loss to the Carolina Panthers. The Falcons' season in a snapshot it was a wide-open Julio Jones dropping a pass from Matt Ryan in the end zone last week. The New England Patriots, the team that triggered the Falcons' malaise with the Super Bowl 51 comeback, and Sunday's slate of games with a trip to Denver, where the Broncos are a disappointing 35. The 62 Patriots' defense may be nothing special, allowing an average of 138.5 rushing yards in its last two wins, but the 35 Broncos are offensively challenged, particularly with C.J. Anderson playing with an ankle injury. And watch just to see if Martellus Bennett more below plays. Something historic is at stake in the game between the New York Giants and San Francisco 49ers and we're not talking about whether 49ers coach Kyle Shanahan will indulge his wife and play Jimmy Garoppolo at quarterback. A loss to the 17 New York Giants would mathematically eliminate the 09 49ers from playoff contention, according to NBC Sports Washington's Joe Ferreira, and that would be the earliest that team has been eliminated since the Denver Broncos in 1967. Of course, this might be the week the Niners win because the Giants are coming off a week dominated by one giant said tabloid whispers of the sort more usually associated with a Jets. If the Giants struggle, there's a chance embattled Ben McAdoo bunches Eli Manning, a move that might seem unthinkable in any other year. Several players told NJ.com it would be crazy, but another said he thought reaction among Giants players would be about 5,050. At FedEx Field, the 44 Washington Redskins are coming off a big road victory over the Seattle Seahawks last week, but the Minnesota Vikings, at 62, are coming off a bye week. Case Keenum will remain the Vikings quarterback, but Teddy Bridgewater last week was cleared to play after recovering from the knee injury he suffered in August 2016. Although head be a big plus for Minnesota, this looks like Keenum's week for a team that relies on defense. In the NFC South, the 62 New Orleans Saints play at 53 Buffalo while 63 Carolina hosts 44 Miami on Monday night. In other games, 44 Green Bay plays at 35 Chicago. The 35 Los Angeles Chargers play at 53 Jacksonville. The 45 New York Jets play at 26 Tampa Bay with Jameis Winston resting his injured shoulder for a few weeks. The 35 Cincinnati Bengals play at 53 Tennessee 08 Cleveland plays at 44. Detroit 62 Pittsburgh is at 36 Indianapolis and 35 Houston is at the 62 Los Angeles Rams. Week 10 buys the Chiefs, Eagles, Raiders and Ravens are off. Top storylines This is not what the NFL needs in a season, marred by injuries to star players and a furious debate about player demonstrations during the national anthem. The one thing the league does not need is a fight Jerry Jones wanting to go to the mattresses against Commissioner Roger Goodell and yet, here we are. The revolt exposes rare fissures within the NFL as it continues to be buffeted by controversies that threaten what was once considered an unassailable business model, as the Post's Mark Mace and Kent Bab write. Never mind that just months ago, Jones was one of the owners who voted to proceed with a new contract for Goodell. That was before the commissioner suspended Ezekiel Elliott for six games. This ISNT just Jones taking control of a process that once omitted him and, he believed, overpaid the commissioner. It is perhaps the NFL's most powerful owner questioning the wisdom and intentions of his fellow owners, a declaration of war. You don't have to, in football, like what your coach says or like what you're doing, Jones, 75, who if he is serious about firing Goodell would need 24 of 32 votes to do so, said last month. You have to buy into it, though. But you don't necessarily have to like it. As a matter of fact, about 95% of anything I've ever done in football was work and, if you will, painful. Martellus Bennett swaps Aaron Rodgers for Tom Brady after quarterback Aaron Rodgers underwent surgery for a broken collarbone. The tight end who signed with Green Bay as a free agent suddenly announced on social media that he was going to retire after the season.
Then, in the middle of the week Bennett was suddenly released for failure to disclose a shoulder injury. Bennett accused the Packers of trying to take advantage of him, writing on Instagram The Packers examined my shoulder on my visit March 10 and cleared it, he wrote. They even gave me an x-ray as well. It got worse during the season, specifically against the Cowboys so I asked to have it checked out and we checked it. After a few days of contemplating to play with it or get surgery, I chose surgery. Now here we are, no sooner was he waived though, than the New England Patriots were able to pick him up and he was practicing with the team he spent last season with. Dr. Pat McKenzie didn't make me feel safe and was pushing to play, which I thought was weird. Not that he was trying to get me to play through it but the way he was saying things. I didn't trust him. So I got three other opinions from doctors who all said I need to get it fixed. So I decided to do that. And they decided to waive me the symbols, excuse. Failure to disclose. Among others, Jordy Nelson and Rogers stepped up to defend McKenzie, with Rogers writing on Instagram I've been working with Dr. McKenzie for 13 years, and as well as being a phenomenal doctor, he's also become a close friend. He's done surgery on me twice, and I trust him and his opinion implicitly, Rogers wrote. Doc has always tried to protect me and my future, even if it meant protecting me from myself and my desire to get back on the field before I should. Bennett is listed as questionable for Sunday night's game. In other news, a Thursday tipping point the Thursday night game between the Seattle Seahawks and Arizona Cardinals was remarkable for two things injuries and more injuries. So many, in fact, that Doug Baldwin of the Seahawks said the games should be illegal. Richard Sherman, who HASNT missed the game since 2011, was lost for the season with a ruptured Achilles tendon, becoming the latest big star to suffer a serious injury this year. Many people see that Thursday's game should be the tipping point for the NFL to reconsider the games, but then owners also have to consider dollar signs receiving $1.86 billion from NBC, CBS, Twitter and Amazon over the two-year Thursday night TV and streaming package that ends after this season. Seahawks procedure questioned the NFL and NFLPA are looking into whether the Seahawks followed concussion protocol in evaluating Russell Wilson on Thursday night. Wilson missed only one play, returning to the game the next time the Seahawks had the ball. Hernandez had extensive brain degeneration A Boston University researcher revealed that an examination of the brain of Aaron Hernandez showed that he suffered the most severe chronic traumatic encephalopathy found so far in a person of his age. Injury news Luck heads to Europe Andrew Luck, according to an ESPN report, is in Europe seeking treatment for his shoulder. Luck will miss the entire season after having shoulder surgery in January and had to be shut down after throwing a few weeks ago. He isnt the first to seek treatment in Europe, Peyton Manning and Kobe Bryant have done so as well. Key players listed as questionable Friday include Martellus Bennett shoulder Delaney Walker ankle Kenny Galladay hamstring Des Bryant knee ankle Jeff Swaim knee Danny Trevathan calf Kyle Long finger Derek Carrier hamstring Marquise Lee knee Jamison Crowder hamstring Niles Paul concussion Jordan Reed hamstring Brandon Scherf knee Trent Williams knee Jonathan Casillas neck Olivia Vernon ankle Mohamed Wilkerson shoulder foot Gerald McCoy shoulder Danny Amendola knee Martellus Bennett shoulder Stephen Gilmore concussion ankle Emmanuel Sanders ankle fantasy football advice best worst matchups look to Houston's ground game, now that Deshaun Watson is out. Read more. 5 moves you must make some critical decisions for Week 10. Read more. Week 10 cheat sheet the choicest tips for Week 10. Read more. Week 10 starts at Eli Manning to the rescue. Read more. The fantasy football beat the Post's fantasy football experts assess the rest of the season MVPs. Listen. ATS betting tips fix the top trends and insights from Las Vegas. Read more.